All right, just going to show the occultism that is in the Marvel Comics series, the Marvel Comics that they put out, and just showing how, you know, it's full of occultism, full of witchcraft, full of sorcery, and even worse, that the fact that it's being devoured by church kids. You know, sadly, many churches don't want to point this out. And, you know, I'm not, I don't run a church, obviously, but this kind of stuff has to be pointed out. The occultism that is in these common kids cartoons that lots of kids like to devour and eat up so essentially just eat up the content this is an article from uh, wayoflife.org about the uh, occultism that is in the marvel comics and you know don't agree with uh, david cloud on everything i have my disagreements with him on some issues but he's completely right about the fact that the marvel comics are full of occultism and they're being devoured by church kids and also the fact is that uh the marvel superheroes are actually based off pagan greek gods essentially the marvel the marvel super and dc as well i mean all of them pretty much they're based off pagan greek roman gods so it's and they're all pictures of the antichrist too they're all just foreshadowing to pictures of the antichrist when you really get down to it but they're symbolizing uh greek and roman pagan gods that's what they are but this is a uh, marvel comics occult garbage devoured by church kids this is from David Cloud again. Don't agree with him on everything. Do you have some minor disagreements on some issues? But he's spot on in this article. It says, in March, I was informed of the following Facebook post. Quote, I keep seeing ads for the Marvel series WandaVision and have learned about a bunch of young people who are watching it. These stories are based on demonic material that is not suitable for Christian kids. It is straight up demonic witchcraft material. If as a Christian, you can be entertained by demonism and witchcraft, you really need to do some self-examination. Exactly. Amen. You know, if you're entertaining yourself with this kind of occultism and witchcraft and sorcery, that's a big problem. You sh should be having some conviction there from the Holy Ghost. Continuing. When I inquired further f uh, about this, the author, an independent Baptist, replied, Yes, uh, definitely a lot of church kids watching that and all of that Marvel comic stuff, unquote. This is a reference to, to, to occult comics, books, and videos produced by Marvel Comics. The movie The X-Men Apocalypse features, quote, the most the first and most powerful mutant for the Marvel's X-Men universe, unquote. He speaks uh, the lie, quote, I have, I have been called many things over the, my many lifetimes, Ra, Krishna, Yahweh. Now, obviously, uh, Yahweh is not the scriptural name for God. The biblical name for God is Jehovah. You found uh, the Yahweh is actually the name of a pagan Canaanite God. But you can see what they're going there. They're trying to say that oh i've been called by i've been called ra the egyptian god the hindu god krishna or the the biblical god yahweh you can see the occultism and mess and programming they have there a fictional book called darkhold also known as the book of sins interesting title is the focus of the marvel comic book series the marvel television series agents of shield and runaways and the live action miniseries wandavision uh, the author of darkhold uh, is supposed to be uh Chithun, hope I'm saying that word right, uh, the demonic elder, quote, a demonic elder god who is Earth's first practitioner of black magic, unquote. Pages of Darkhold are said to be scattered across the Earth and summon massive dark powers. Darkhold mythology is filled with wizards, sorcerers, incantations, spellcasting, curses, demons, vampires, werewolves, zombies, necromancy, superpowers, magic healing, uh, astral projection, teleporting, dimension travel, uh, and quote, high evolution, deceit, uh, th th deceit, theft, torture, murder, not to speak of the nakedness. One character even sacrifices her soul to uh, Chathan. So, wonderful content there for a Christian kid. You got uh, Necromancy, Condemned in Deuteronomy 18. All that stuff there is Condemned in Deuteronomy chapter 18. Verses, I think it's verses 10 to 12. It's under the category of witchcraft. So this is, this is the occultism of the so-called Marvel comics. Which I used to be obsessed with obsessed with i used to watch marvel stuff when i was you know in my in my early teens and and in my you know late adolescence so i can see that i, I know the pull and the reach that it has to young kids and this kind of stuff has to be pointed out to warn other parents i'm not a parent obviously but you get what i'm saying another powerful another popular popular marvel occult character is scarlet witch appearing in the marvel comics since 1964 her super, her superhuman traits are the product of magic and scientific experimentation she is a member of the avengers superhero team by magic she impregnated herself and bore and she and bore twin sons wiccan and speed between 2015 and 2017 scarlet witch was featured in her own comic series she also appears in the marvel animated films television series 
arcade and video games, including Captain America. She is the main character in WandaVision and is scheduled to appear in the forthcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in 2022. Uh, then it gives some scriptures right there. Uh, there is nothing innocent about this church youth who are involved with the occult uh, and do not repent in sincere and open repentance should be put under discipline. Their salvation should deeply be questioned, or should be deeply questioned. Amen to that. It's uh, it's not suitable for Christ Christian professing Christian kids. Let me show you a verse of scripture on the subject of this kind of occultism and witchcraft. I mentioned it earlier, Deuteronomy chapter 18. Let me go to the scripture real quick. Oops, went too far. Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12 there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh a son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the lord and because of these abominations the lord thy god doth drive them out from before thee so the occultism and witchcraft in Marvel comics is condemned right there. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12. Another scripture on the subject. Go back to Leviticus chapter 19. Because that, that was Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10 to 12. Leviticus chapter 19. Let me just turn there. Yeah, Leviticus chapter 19, verses 31. Regard, regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. That was Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. And there's many other scriptures too, but those are just a few of them. Uh, the sorcery and demonism of, of Marvel comics, and, and it's condemned in scripture. And if you're a Christian kid, you have no business watching this type of occultism and witchcraft like I foolishly did when I was a lost atheist. So... Anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.